story of the evolution of the extrafractal. No actual geologist, archaeologist, horticulturalist, chiropodist, gynecologist will ask any questions whatsoever in the reenactment of this tale. As planet Earth has developed over millions and millions of years, so too has the singing contest. Two million years ago, Homo erectus first evolved. These people were like us, except for they ate raw plants, created simple tools, made fire, made fire extinguishers, and loved their singing competitions. Everybody what the dinosaur! Then, 2,500-ish years ago, came the Greeks. They invented maps, money, and plate smashing. Greece archaeologists have also proved that they were also addicted to singing competitions. No! Do it again. And then came the Vikings, famous for their long ships, battle axes, the name Ivar. Ivar! Yes. 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 And of course, their love of singing contests. its famous figures, events, and Celine Dion came and went. It's only been in the last six years that evolution has really gone into overdrive. Jane, congratulations! Leon! Leon! Alexandra! Resulting in bigger. Yes! Yeah. Oh, oh, in the house! Holly Ready! Woo! Yes! Harder! And better auditions than ever before. Are you getting naked? Yes, I wear pajamas. But like a punch on. No. Hello, London. Very good. Hey, you are good. <laughs> yeah, doing very well. Welcome to evolutionary perfection. Come back, guys. <laughs> Myself. Welcome to the Extra Factor. Simon. Hello, hello, Simon, hello. Where are you? I think I might have overslept a little bit. Holly, we are about to start and I'm not waiting. Oh, okay, um, um... I promise you I'll be there. No, I'm being serious and bring me a banana, I'm starving. A banana? Yes, a banana. Okay. Bye. Oh. Ready now, let's go. Oh man, I've missed it. Oh, one banana. Enough. I thought I was never going to make it. Hold everything. I'm here. Hello, Simon. Oh, wow. I know you need this. Thank you very much. That's for you. <laughs> ITV2, reporting for duty. You look like a complete mess. Oh, thanks. OK, off you go. It's like Louis on a Saturday night. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> Louis on a Saturday night? I love my Saturday nights. They're so much fun. Go on, Simon. You like your tea strong. And how are you, Cheryl? Danny, you have some tea, too. Crazy times, indeed. But 
will our first audition be as、uh, entertaining? Hello, Aaron. Nice to meet you. Name, Mr. Aaron. Aaron. Martin Jeremy. First of September, 1980, makes me 29 this year. Are you feeling confident about yes. today? Yes. I would describe my singing voice as unique. I would rate myself a possible ten out of ten. I feel that one with myself when I sing. Can you go low, really low?、Um, I do think I can win the X Factor. Well done. Thank you. Ah,、uh-huh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name's Aaron Amon and Jeremy.、Right. I'm new to the show. Yeah. I hope you enjoy this. Yeah. It's the best I can do. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna start now. Okay. Well, can、right? I just ask you? Okay. Can I ask you a couple of questions, Aaron? Aaron, I'd just like to get to know a little bit more about you. I'm Aaron Amon and Jeremy. Right.、Okay. I'm 28. Yeah. I live in London. Okay. Thank okay. You. Got it. I'm gonna begin. Yeah. Yeah. For trying. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to go along with Cheryl on that. That doesn't mean you're going through to the next round, but I mean effort, everything else, great. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Anyway, one more minute. Thank you. So, Aaron, you didn't get through. No, you can't turn for trying, and that's it. Yeah. Which is great. That's okay. I think、um, you should be happy with that. Thank you. Thank you.、Yeah. This year, the X Factor auditions have changed, but how? The holding room, the same. The judges, the same. Large swooping crane shots of crowd shouting, "We've got the X Factor!" Same live studio audio. Who's to blame? Only one name. Let's hope he's not gone insane. It's oh, Simon Cow. Well, that last bit didn't quite rhyme, did it? What a shame. Why did you decide to do it? Why did you? Why did I decide to do it? You know, well, look, you know, this is my my business, right? Yeah. I audition, and、um, and when I sat there in this little room, I didn't think it felt real anymore. It felt fake, and I like now to have a bit of feed, a lot of feedback from the audience. I like、okay. an atmosphere. Um, and I also think it's important that if they can turn over a crowd of however many here, two or three thousand people, then you have to assume that they are good performers. Do you think this year some people who may not have got through before will get through because they'll vibe off that audience and vice versa? Completely. Now、yeah. I feel like we're making a new show, so I'm、okay. excited, <laughs> and I like doing things new. Yeah. Let's get crazy. 
still to come. Zen Gators is axed. Let's cheer this up. I'm freaking sexy bad. <laughs> this year we've seen a revolution. Out with the old and in with the new. It'll either be absolutely fantastic or it really won't work. I have absolutely no idea whether this is going to work or not. They think they know what's coming. No. It's time to face the wash. Can we just discuss Louis' new look? The sunglasses? I think Tom Cruise was part of the judging panel. Am I cool? Louis, you are, you are so cool. You were like, hot. And he's had the teeth done as well. I, I just got these fixed. It's called maintenance. They look really good. So are they yours? They are now. <laughs> He's wearing his funky shoes, doesn't he? Are you still deciding what shirt to wear? Well, it's either a blue one, a blue one or a very blue one. <laughs> I'd go very blue. blue. Yeah. Maybe this year he's gone for the whole so revamp. He's gone for the whole hog, hasn't he? Mm. He's young and it all. I never thought Louis would actually change, <laughs> um, but you can see how this has affected him. I know, I can tell he's gone all showbiz on us. I'm not it's sure what's happened. Literally insane. <laughs> Someone who's gone, a little bit of Hollywood, it's Lulu Walsh. And one person hoping to prove that like Louis, they have style. Yes, I said style and substance is our next act. Ravnik, age 26, from Hounslow, West London, near Heathrow Airport. My name's Ravnik Kalarai, I'm 26, and I'm from Hounslow, West London, near Heathrow Airport. Uh, yes, Ravnik, I just said that. Ravnik, how are you today? I'm OK. My name's Ravnik, I'm 26, and I'm from West London. Thank you for clearing that up. Are you uh, looking forward to performing? I'm really looking forward to performing. I'd rate my singing about 9 out of 10. Do you think they're going to be impressed with what you've done? I think they're going to be impressed with me, because I'm also going to dance as well. Can, can you show me a little bit? I'm just going to be like that until then. My voice is like Justin Timberlake's a little bit and similar. So are you quite Justin Timberlake S? And also I'm a rapper as well. So very Justin Timberlake S. So you've got the voice? Yeah, I've got the voice and the and the rapping. Oh A B B slicker, the liquor, 2K4, you never heard of me before. Cause I keep a home lack and all this bad to go rug. Well I'm to bust you, I did this EMC trying to act like that's like now come up with the half chapter. My name's Ravnik, I'm 26 and I'm from West London. And what do you do at the moment? Well, I'm a student at the moment studying financial computing. But the main dream is to become... A superstar. Okay. Okay. What are you going to say? Like Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake. Great. Yeah. Okay. Ride it up on the floor, ride it, let it be known, ride it, I touch my soul. I saw you walking by, Melrose Place, and I was hypnotized by your sexiness, butterfly tattoo. You look straight out of heaven, heaven just the way I like it. I believe I can fly, I believe I can testify. Sexy, I'm bringing sexy back, I'm bringing sexy back, I'm bringing sexy back. Uh, all you haters wanna hate on me All you haters wanna hate on me I'm freaking sexy back Ride it up on the floor Ride it, let it be known Ride it, I touch my soul I saw you walking by Melrose face and I was hypnotized By your sexiness butterfly tattoo You look straight out of heaven Just the way I like it I believe I can fly What was that? That's a, um, what was that? Sexy back. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. OK, look, you know what? Let's just vote. Louis? Uh, Rav, you said you're bringing sexy back. You're not. It was <laughs> awful. Danny? Um, no, thank you. Cheryl? 
no. No. Okay, it's, it's a unanimous, it's a no, but thank you. I don't think it w really went well. I think Simon just, I don't know, I don't think he really liked my music, but I saw Cheryl that she was moving to the, mu to the beat. Even if I don't become a music singer, I can still become a music producer, superstar. Right, Extra Factor, I brought you here today for Crisis Talks. ITV1, X Factor have gone all new, all changed, but they've gone big. We've got to do something amazing. So, if we're going to bring in some new stuff, some of the old stuff, sadly, is going to have to go. And top on my list is presentiators. I know, I know, I know, but I think that it's going to have to go. Presentiators is axed. We want presentiators and we want it now. Those were the words which echoed all over the country today as nationwide protests took place. I'm with the people out there. Really? Totally. I don't think you should have ever asked presentiators. We want to know how you are coping with the news. Later on, our agony aunt Denise Robertson will be taking your call, so drop Sorry, us a line. Mate. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I know you really like it, but it was last year and, and I Okay, okay, I will bring back presentiators. Yes! Show me the love! May the best woman win. Presentators action. Presenters. With thousands turning out to meet the judges, confidence and spirits have never been higher. And everyone has one thing in common. Got the X Factor, but how about 26 year old Jonathan Hockley? I think I'd leave, I'd leave that to the, the judges to, to, you know, to uh, judge whether they think I have the X Factor or not. Yeah, Jonathan, yeah, you've got it, yeah. How are you today? I'm well. Are you good? Mm hmm. Are you looking forward to today? Well, what can I say? I'm here today, so... How much does this mean to you? Well, obviously, it's the difference between success and no, no success. Out of ten, how much do you really, really want this? Um, well, ten. <laughs> Hi, welcome. What's your name? Hi, I'm Jonathan Hockley. How old are you, Jonathan? 26. OK, why are you here, Jonathan? <coughs> uh, I'm here to win the X Factor. Why do you think you could win? What makes you different? Well, hopefully I've got the talent. 
to win. All right, we're not getting very far here. Uh, what are you going to sing? Um, I'm going to sing Sacrifice by Elton John. OK. Let's cheer this up. It's a human time When things go wrong when the scent of her lingers And temptation strong Into the boundary Of each married man Jonathan, I, I think this is just, a, honestly, a complete waste of time. What do you think? No personality, no charisma, no singing voice. Louis? It just, there was nothing there, Jonathan. There was no performance, there was well, no voice. Well, Louis, yes or no? No. Oh, all right. Danny? <laughs> <laughs> no. Cheryl? No. Sorry, sorry. Jonathan. No, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, bad luck, John. What have you got to say about that? What? Wow. Welcome back to the Extra Factor. Oh, I feel like it's time for some music and some shots of some such big lorries coming on. The Extra Factor team are back in those lorries, as those lorries do what those lorries do best. Driving on roads, the places. And this time, that place is Manchester. And with thousands ready to show what they're made of, there's just something missing. And it appears that Louis' fashion style is slowly catching on. And hoping to take the judge's breath away is 18-year-old Mary Claire. Hi. Welcome to the X Factor. Hi. What's your name? Mary Claire. Singing's my passion and singing's all I want to do for my life. So the reason I've come on the X Factor is to, is to see if I'm, if I'm good enough and see what the judges think of me. Big audition in front of the judges. Um, you feel incompetent? A bit nervous, but I've been nervous all week, so I've okay. kind of got over the nerves. It's more excitement now. I'm just going to go out there and do what I can. Hopefully, they'll like my personality, and then I'm just going to sing my heart out, and hopefully, the audience will like me as well. What's the dream? What would dream you like? is to be as big as Dusty Springfield and Duffy people like that. Big, yeah, dreams, big voices. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Mary Claire. And how old are you? I'm 18. Tell us a little bit about you. Um, well, I've only been singing properly like for two years. Do like family weddings and things like that. And people have just told me to come on the X Factor, so I thought I'd just come and give it a go. All right. What are you going to sing for us today? Um, Nora Jones. Don't know why. Okay. I waited till I saw the sun. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't come I left you by the house of fun I don't know why I didn't come I don't know why I didn't come When I saw the break of day OK, all right. Holly. It's Holly 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 you yeah. know, if at your age, 18, you've got to have a bit of attitude yeah. so that people want to be like you. And yeah. at the moment, it, it, it's quite childlike, everything about you. All right, we're going to vote. Danny, yes or no? 
On the voice, yes. Thank you. Lulu? On the potential, yes. Thank you. Cheryl? Yes. Thank you! Okay, Marie, you've got four yeses. Thank you, thank you. I don't really know what they meant saying that I look like Holly, but I'm really flattered that they did. Holly. Holly, Holly, Holly. Yeah, Holly, look, yeah. It was basically Holly singing. Wasn't yeah, it? it was, yeah. 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 There's only room for one Holly Willoughby in this town. Holly, 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 Holly. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's OK. Don't worry about it. It's good as, though. So, how's it going on Extra Factor? It's going well, yeah. Yeah, it's going well, yeah. It's an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, that's Holly. Hi. Holly, you shrunk. Good luck with everything. Hi. 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 Hi.
Looking in her eyes, I see a memory. I never realized how happy you made me, oh Mandy. When you came and you gave without taking, but I sent you away, oh Mandy. Boring, bored, 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 bored. Dynamic couldn't be less dynamic if they tried. Thank God we've done a dynamic remix. Dynamic, 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 We'll just go, please. Cheers. Thank you. That didn't quite go the way I imagined you thought it was going to. No. We did let ourselves down our vocals and yeah, nerves. Got better for us. Could have performed a lot better. Yeah, yeah. but um, we'll definitely right. be back. I'll see you next year then. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Stay okay. dynamic. We will. We will. Go, 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 go. Just go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... <laughs> Judge Moment of the That was Judge Moment of the Week! Hi, I'm Marie Claire, and you're still watching The Extra Fat. Hang on a minute. I didn't spend two years on Ministry of Mayhem honing my presenting skills for nothing. There's a certain level of professionalism that can only be nurtured over time. Marie Claire, watch and learn, and behold, the Willob! Oh, I tell you what, this audition process is absolutely exhausting. I think I need a little bit of a lie down. Oh, no. I just tripped over my shoe. <laughs> well, I tell you what, all this audition's malarkey is a little bit... <laughs> Can I say... <laughs> no. <laughs> this audition process is absolutely... <laughs> oh, this audition process is absolutely wearing me out. I think I need a lie down. Still to come. Hello! Buy another book, buy a book, buy another book, buy another book. <laughs> Welcome back to the Extra Factor. Still hungry for more? Then get your chops around this. The Extra Factor is headed back to London. Where thousands have turned up to audition for our judges. Me, that's Simon. Crowds seem to have given one of our judges a bit of stage fright. Simon? Hello, how are you? Yes, fine. I'm, I'm just by the door. There's a lot of people waiting to get in, aren't there? Yeah. Don't be scared of getting out of the car. This is like when I used to go to fairgrounds. Don't be scared. Deep breaths. I, I just look for that one place in the world where I'm not known and it's getting harder and harder and harder. It's fine. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just here. I'm just here. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I, I can see you. I can see you. Okay, bye-bye. He's still on the phone, but I hung up about ten minutes ago. He must be very shy today. Having finally coaxed Simon out of his car, it's time for the auditions to begin. First up is 32-year-old David Moores, whose eyes are firmly fixed on the pies. <clears throat> I mean prize. Hello, David. Hey, yeah. fine. So, tell me, what's the day job? What do you normally do? I just work in a booth, actually. I'll mix pork pies. What's the most amount of pork pies you've eaten in a day? Uh, one a day. Just one a day. Maybe we should think of a stage name, like... Porky Moors? I can see that on an <laughs> cover. Porky Moors. <laughs> well, Porky Moors, we're going to play a game which is all based around pork pies. It's Pork Pie or Porky Pie! 
Okay, yummy. I am going to tell you three statements about myself. And you have to tell me whether or not they are a pork pie, i.e. a lie, or whether they are not a pork pie, i.e. the truth. If you get it wrong, you have to eat a pork pie. Okay, here we go. I have watched the film Porky's 13 times. Porky pie or not a porky pie, porky moors? Not a porky pie. It's a porky pie! Oh, no. I've seen it a six times, <laughs> which means porky moors get your porky paws on the porky pie and get it down your porky neck. While you're eating that, I'm going to tell you the next one, okay? In the TV show Desmond, my favourite character is Porky Pie. Porky Pie. It is a Porky Pie! Yay! Very good. In fact, why they gave him a spin off show, I will never ever know. Okay, are you ready for your third and final question? When I was pregnant, one of my major cravings was for pork pies. Is this a porky pie or is this not a porky pie? Porky pie, not a porky pie, porky pie, or not a porky pie, porky not pie? A, not a porky pie. It's not a porky pie! I lost them! I even at four in one day once! Porky moors, everyone. <laughs> What's your name? My name is David, and I work in a food factory what makes uh, pork pies. Pork pies? And do you like eating them? Um, I don't eat them all the time, but sometimes I do, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. What's your song choice? Home by Michael Bublé. Yes. OK, off you go. Good song. Another summer day has come and gone away In Paris and Wall, I want to go home Oh, I miss you, no and I've been keeping all the letters that I wrote to you Each one a line or two Okay. Um... <laughs> it's nice to meet you, David. Thank you. Simon? Well, look, David, at the point in the song when you were singing I Want to Go Home, <laughs> we were kind of together at that point. But uh, at least you gave it a go, right? Yeah. Simon, yes or no? No. Cheryl? No. Sorry. <coughs> no, David. David, you got four no's. It's like I felt that being kicked in the teeth. That's how, that's how it felt. Well, listen, I'm, I'm going to um, meet the judges after this, so I'm going to go and have a chat with them. If you want to say something, I can show it to them. And whilst Porky Moores gets his thoughts together, we thought we'd fill this awkward silence with some pork pie facts. No, that's all right. Pork pies were thought to be invented in the 1760s and mostly eaten by peasants. A pork pie must contain at least 40% pork, otherwise it's just a pie. In Yorkshire, a pork pie is usually referred to as a growler. Oh, it looks like he might finally have something to say here. I want to say a few things to the um, actual judges. I really want to sing a song. Take a song for a chance. You tell them, Porky Mars. You tell them. You tell them straight. Don't you tell them any porky pies. You tell them straight. With a break in the auditions, I was summoned by Louis, who had something very, very, very important to discuss. 
Louis, yes, what is sorry. it you want to talk to me about? Well, I've been getting a lot of people that want to know when we're going to start Louis for them, actually. The night. I thought we were going to have to have this chat at some point. I'm not sure whether we're ready for oh, Louis Limerick. I think we should sure. have Louis Limerick. Everybody loves us. I think it was the best part of the ATV. You know show. what? 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 It was the highlight sure, of the I'm show. Not necessarily going that far. Hey, hey, it was the highlight of the show. Are you serious? I'm yeah. deadly serious. Okay, well, if we bring it back, then you have to go on tour. That's the rule. Of course. Are you sold out. Of course I will. Okay. <laughs> Louis Limerick is on tour. Yeah. 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 Hello, I'm here for the Limericks. Oh yeah, that'd be five pound, please. No, I'm Louis from Louis Limericks. Sometimes, when the bad people sing, it makes my ears hurt and ring. And if I have to listen to one more bad audition, my brain will end up exploding. <laughs> Thank you, London. You've been amazing. <laughs> Today's auditions draw to an end, and the audience make their way home. I thought we'd catch up with our judges. Hello. Hello, you. I haven't seen you all day. I know. I've been kind of very busy, and so have you. We've had a long day, haven't we? Yeah, I've had a really long day. Are you pleased with that way? Oh, I love today, yeah. Do you think the standard is raised again? Incredible. It's like I'm going to be calling all my friends going, this is the most amazing show to be on. You, you're watching the performances today, the ones that were good, absolute world class. And uh, you know, I like to do these shows believing that we can get better every year, or yeah. the talent's better, and I think that's going to happen. This is, I think, the best way to do the show because it gives them a chance to show us what they can do. Mm. Not only could they sing a record, but yeah. perform on stage and knock everyone's socks off. And you can see people are, are genuinely raising their game. Yeah, there's a little buzz going on. It has to be. If it's not better than last year, there's no point doing the show. Full stop. minutes of pure entertainment and sheer brilliant presenting we've just shared together. But you know what? It's come to an end. Never fear. Here's what's coming up next week. <laughs> More of me! It was like two drunks at a wedding. I smell a limerick! Oh my god, that's brilliant! Happy birthday, Cheryl! Let's go back to... You've seen the pictures and read the stories. Now you have another chance to see how Pete kept himself together in the weeks following his breakup in Peter Andre going it alone next tonight. Then at 5 past 11, Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington star in Thriller, The Pelican Brief. That's all here on ITV2.